How you going, Gemini? We're going to do you a spiritual message and see what comes out for your message. Yeah, it's a brand new message, so we'll have a look and see what just comes out. You'll see that I do everything on camera. Uh, right in front of you, I use four different tarot decks and maybe two different oracle decks, and we'll see what comes out. Um, that's pretty much it. We're pretty much going to get started into it. Thank you very much for watching. Let's put the deck size completely random. And we'll start. Let's have a look. Intuition one's on fire at the present moment. That's what I mean. Your intuition's on fire at the present moment. It's in the crown of the reading, which is the connection to spirit, I suppose, crown. Uh, and so if it's like dreaming in a dream, but see the uh, mermaid in the water. She's the embodiment of divine feminine, and then divine feminine's come out here with growth. So we can see that somebody's embracing who they are. Um, your intuition's on fire. Uh, Empress is extremely intuitive. That's the energy you're in at the present moment, if it resonates. Yeah, because you've introspection. You've had clear introspection. That's what I mean. In the original tarot deck, you'll see that there's a face in the moon, okay? And that face is the face of the hermit. Yeah, because you've had clear introspection around shadows leading forward to become the emperor. See the moon? The illusions that you've gone through? Every, every empress would. So if it breaks, uh, it shows growth as we go through and step through. Whatever it is, it's massive amounts of ascension because I've got three major arcana in the major current energies. Um, and it's growth. You're a well-grounded person, um, a gifted healer, um, could be a working parent, um, somebody abundant in their energy. You've got to understand she's got olive branches extending from her mindset, so it shows growth no matter which way you go, no matter which way from the masculine to the positive to the negative, uh, masculine to the feminine, it still gives like growth no matter what because she's ascended here is ascended here in order to become the empress which is the growth but it's grown through um illusions but those illusions have brought you to who you are as a soul yeah because whatever it was from the past left you out in the cold and you had to walk away you can see left out in the cold ostracized with illusions uh things like that you can see see the key you could have been impoverished in the past you could have been had a lot of ill health depression worries things like that she's um see that but she's she stands up Sees the door, sees the light on the door with all the abundance on the door, which is their pentacles. Grabs the key, opens the door, and she walks on. See the footprints with spirit. See the that's that's the emotion that's in that cup there that she's sitting on the ground there. See the cup that's fallen in the background. So it shows you've walked away from something. Okay, that might have been ostracizing you, putting you down, putting illusions in your life you didn't need for starters. But it's also left out in the cold. Uh, you could have had a lot of ill health there where you had to heal from your health, heal heal from yourself. Okay, because it puts an emphasis that way. But it shows. Um, the Empress takes it into her own hand, stands up, grabs her key, walks on. She walks towards that light and then embraces it and she does it with fearlessness leading forward. And that's beautiful. Let's have a look at the future and then um, we'll go into the world spirit. Yeah, man, inner peace is coming in, which is magnificent, but it's your growth. And it's like, um, yeah, look, masculine to feminine version of yourself. It's a growth. I've got the Empress to the Emperor here in between growth and inner peace. Uh, she's free to be herself. You've got to understand at the Nine of Pentacles, all she needs is one more Pentacle, which is abundant, which is in your hand at the present moment as you rebirth, at birth something new maybe in itself because she's birthing something new and it's in that hand. It looks like the same position there in itself. Whatever it is, you're birthing something new and it's, it's because you've learned so much in order to embrace inner peace when it comes in and put the boundaries in place leading forward. He's sitting on Mars leading forward so it shows you're taking the game of life into your own hands. See the king there? Even though there's cracks in the foundation, you're still smashing it no matter what. And that's inner peace, happiness, positivity. Um, it could also be somebody becoming their masculine feminine version of their mindset um, and strength within their soul no matter what to put boundaries in place so you're not going through this shit again over and over again well fearlessness strength man this is what I mean this is what you're coming into at the present moment fearlessness strength um, it could be an entrepreneurial spirit um, emperor's boss and the king of wands is an entrepreneurial spirit who fearlessly goes towards his passions no matter what that's why the chameleon's on the front of him leading forward I'll put another card on that uh, so I just want to know why he's fearless yeah, because the past, so the past has done something. So you only have one past card. It's nostalgia. So you be fearless around the whatever memories from the past and nostalgia. But it shows you're embracing your inner self, um, inner child, and thinking about your future self leading forward. Um, and that's magnificent because you would be. You can see she walks away here, releases the illusions to be free, and that's the strength leading forward. Hopes. Yeah, you may be hoping for love at the present moment, or it may be just a beautiful, compassionate soul who wears their heart on their sleeve, Gemini. See the um, see he's got his heart on his sleeve, yeah, the tattoo. But you can see he's sitting there. Uh, he's lovely. He's uh, just waiting, yeah. See the dots around the horse in the background. That's ancestral dots. It shows um, 
that the uh, the purity is in your thoughts. The white horse that's prancing in the background shows uh, the purity of thought uh, and intention as well. You can see the um, cups. See, so you walked away from a cup here, but you haven't put your cup away, which is beautiful, leading forward. Okay, and that's magnificent. I'll put another card on that because it's an archetype. Yeah, okay, because you're healing from whatever narcissistic, um, jealous, brooding type of uh, piece of shit you're dealing with in the past. There, you're healing from that. You're leading forward, and it shows strength because we're healing from the past, healing from the past, and the strength within you, wearing your heart on your sleeve, leading forward, which is beautiful. Um, but yeah, we go into the heart now. Yeah, man, whatever it is, woo! Kings, queens, everywhere. Plus, uh, look, at these, look at these divine souls everywhere. It's just see the clear perspective. See, King of Swords, see who's got the two swords. One's behind him with the high perspective on it, and one's the other choice with the hand on it, yeah? It shows he's uh, not allowing anything to get the upper hand, for starters. And he's also sitting up high vibing. That's the gray hair, which shows wisdom. Same with that owl is wisdom. Freedom of thought in the background. That light of the Lord showing that um, you'll see through the gray uh, silver linings of life. And with the high perspective, it shows when any type of uh, heartfelt choice, whatever you're wearing or your heart on your sleeve here in the past, in what you're healing from, you're taking the high perspective because he's looking straight at the introspection and the introspection is looking straight at the higher perspective. Yeah, because you're going to calmer waters with the six to the six to the four here. The four of swords is healing, but the six of swords is coming past the healing, the psychic attacks, thank you, spirit, um, in order to be pulled to calmer waters. It's your rites of passage to have your heart healed and it's your rites of passage when you were born to be more free and happy and positive with massive amounts of ascension leading forward. But spirit can only help those that help themselves. Um, in itself, which is beautiful, beautiful reading. Absolutely beautiful reading. Uh, the reason it's not showing too much around the um, stuff that you're healing from is because it'll go into it here, Spirit says, but we can see that you are a divine soul and we can see that you are dreaming a new dream. You are stepping forward and in that dream is your dream and that's magnificent because it's coming to fruition with the deck. Yeah, man. Two queens, two kings. Fucking hell. We got two kings, uh, kings of one, king and queen of wands. We have a king and queen of swords. We have a queen of pentacles in your energy at the present moment, with um, opposing the empress energy, and we have the emperor, uh, empress energy, and the emperor leading forward. A lot of archetype here. Whether you're dealing with a lot of people in the past, okay, because that's the past overriding energies there leading forward in itself, because you're sitting on the solid foundation there, okay. Divine judgment has been laid because you trust your intuition leading forward, which is beautiful to protect your energy. energetic blocks okay she's protecting her energy okay from any friends family or lovers that you may have walked away from is only bringing you towards happiness and positivity as long as you um just understand your heart matters are true okay but you may have to lock the cup away see she's walked away from a cup here see the cups locked away here the one judgment has been laid as we step forward but it's a matter, matter it's inner peace leading forward i'm going to split the deck right there but um, it does put emphasis to the fact that um, whatever you've walked away from here, you are sitting on this solid foundation of morals and growth. But like whether you're dealing with a ridiculous amount of people from the past or whether you, because you're a divine soul, so you would see lots of kings, queens, and, and those massive amounts. In my readings, a king and a queen is monarch energy. It's somebody who's been embracing the masculine. She would be embracing the feminine side. And the king over here would be embracing his uh, emperor side, if that makes sense, in order to lead forward. But we can see, see this leaves a cup here and walks on. It was the light that was in your hands for transformation leading forward, knowing you're damn well, you're protected. Yeah, from whatever's coming into the future. Now, you are a very compassionate soul. Um, we can see that there. You're a very passionate soul, a very um, a grounded, warm healer leading forward. But we can see how you've become the empress, okay? We lock the cups over here. We've learned to sit on the solid foundation. We've learned that people, are, some people are pieces of shit and some people can't change and some people will persevere. And that brings you into that empress energy. Leading forward, we're into that emperor energy, which is strong because it's fearlessness leading forward. But it's also protecting your heart over here because we've got the masculine feminine version of each other protecting that heart. She's protecting the heart here. And the king side of it is over here. Whoa, you, would, you wouldn't fuck with him. I'm telling you the truth. You wouldn't fuck with his heart. Best way to say that, okay, considering he's opposed by another king, was emphasis on leading forward that king energy, okay, coming in. Now, the reading could change any time now once we put these cards in, okay, because um, those are your energies. Okay, so what we're going to do is put some uh, reversals in and have a look. All right, 
there is love coming in some sort of way, but not everybody wants love. Okay, a divine soul will get the love that they need no matter what, and it would be divine love and growth in between that. When I split that Queen of Wands, it gives me two of cups, which shows there is potential for love coming in, but it's also the potential for you embracing who you are as a soul. Ooh! You walked away from somebody very childish in the past year, very, very childish energy, uh, somebody very overzealous. Somebody may have felt like they accomplished you. And what does that mean? It means they take it, uh, could have potentially enthusiastically taken advantage of you in some sort of way. Yeah, thinking about new creative ways to take advantage of you and stuff like that. And may have tried to limit your belief or block your ideas or give you a hard time getting started. But it's the angst of someone feeling like they accomplished you, which is cruel, it's unstable, it's domineering. It's like, um, yeah, it's like somebody in this past year that you've walked away from feels like they, like whether they own you or something there, because that's what that card is in itself. Whatever it is, it's cruel and it's overzealous. Yeah, man, there it is. There you are. That's what you're healing from. The Knight of Cups over here. You can see healing from this uh, jealous, narcissistic, brooding type of soul. And it's in the crown. So it does put emphasis on that as well. But you've got to understand the King. Uh, Knight of Cups in reverse is my only narcissistic card. Okay? Whatever you're dealing with in the past was a child. Childish energy. We can see that there. They're missing the signs. You may have to protect, to protect your heart. Because there, cause look, she's protecting the heart. And this is the card we're talking about. Protecting the heart as it goes through. Uh, you might have been dealing with somebody um, who was very manipulative, narcissistic, a player type of soul. A person who is emotionally uh, volatile, emotionally unavailable, but, uh, melodramatic, brooding, that type of soul. It can be sensual and idle at the start, but then it becomes untruthful and trick trickster energy because the duplicity of fraud comes through. Uh, and it needs to be carefully looked at leading forward because the person and their approach, if that makes sense, because... You don't need negative emotions that have blocked that progress because that's negative emotions. This is the only card we're talking about right now. Now you can see the emotions in that, the the, the emotions that that divine soul is sitting in here, leading forward. Yeah, and it's just looking up at all the illusions to see what you've dealt with, but that would be protecting that heart, leading forward, which is beautiful. Fuck me. It's another page energy. Uh, and it's in reverse. You're dealing with somebody non-committal in the past here. Um, very non-committal. Are very fake in their energy okay you got to understand the page of pentacles upright and it's in the wrong direction in their energy would be somebody who learns from the lessons and they manifest new opportunities we're dealing from on the past they were non-committal there might have been a lack of progress they did not want to learn from the past mistakes they might have been procrastinating they need to bring those bring those plans down to more of an earth level that makes sense and be more, be more grounded and present there to embody those lessons and so we can all grow they may have wanted to have some sort of instant, instant security and wealth or something and miss the deeper lessons but in that is dissipation and excess to great pleasures of material things of life so it does show wastefulness you're dealing with somebody who may have wasted your time and might have chased luxury and unfavorable things in itself okay but it does put emphasis to somebody non-committal as you learn from the lessons because it counteracts into the growth you learn from the lessons of the tri trials and tribulations of the past leading forward because that's why we've got all this monarch energy here yeah man might have been a lot of illusions okay because there's the moon of the illusions and we can see the moon here in the illusions you may not have seen it but the seven of cups um in the reverse like that is illusions upright it would be options Okay, so it does show you've dealt with a lot of people that have put illusions into your life, um, whether those are lies, because they're cunning here, whether those are lies or manipulation in some sort of way, those illusions are there. We'll have a look as we go into those world energies over there. Might have been somebody trying to block you in the past year by illusions, like trying to make whether you had a fear of making the wrong choice or that something like that in itself but there was a distraction along the way they might have been past, past, past person might have been distracted by all things shiny and new analysis paralysis there is good resolutions coming which is magnificent and that's the desire and will determination leading forward of the options that are coming in for the empress leading forward but it's been released for the right perspective so what I mean whatever is from the past the hangman was stuck you may have been stuck between a rock and a hard place because that's definitely stuck in between there but you've had clear introspection leading forward because the hangman is stuck the hangman is enlightenment see you've got a halo around it's counteracted by another enlightenment card see enlightenment halos boom halo in itself but whatever it is from the past it's been released okay because they just 
the hangman in the theory of the major arcana is come through the justice to get to the hangman and then all of a sudden he gets stopped tricked and he gets turned upside down so see how he's turned upside down and he's stuck so it does show you're not you're free from that because of your introspection leading forward because of your introspection it's beautiful best way to say that but <coughs> whatever it was man because that's a stagnation card so well, somebody might have been trying to block you um trying to rush things or something like that it could have possibly pay, played on self-imposter or self-imposed shame or suffering that might have fucking tried to shame you or something like that that's not the illusion it's like you know when you're really beautiful as a soul and some fuck who comes into your life with their ego and goes you know what I'm self-absorbed, I'm better than you, I'm more lovely than you, I'm better empath, I'm better fucking card reader, whatever, yeah, you know, itself, and then it's like, no, <laughs> no, you're an idiot, go away, you put a fucking illusions into my life, or you should be embracing the empress that you had, they should have been embracing the empress that they had, rather than um, putting stupid shit into its life, rather than, because the empress is here, going along and locked, locked its cup away, in order to release the illusions and fears around whatever narcissistic soul this was, because we can see releasing fears as it goes from release to releasing fears, and comes through, but that's the growth in ourselves release whatever illusions this piece of shit was so two cards for it you reckon you got balance coming in for the emperor which is beautiful okay uh the past is going to be in regret man whatever it is that you took away they have imbalance leading forward so imbalance leading forward these are white cards of the past cards you can see imbalance leading forward the four of cups is regret you can see all the tears yeah so they'll be in regret leading forward that's what i mean they should have seen the blessing that they had which is the empress here in this soul rather than put stupid shit into its life you got to go through these trials and tribulations they didn't want to learn the lesson so that way later on their justice is to watch you go on and be the best version of yourself and see what they lost if that makes sense uh justice doesn't work like that justice in itself is a, a trillion things <laughs> justice is whether on the good side or the bad side of justice everybody gets justice uh nine of cups there. it shows you healing from this piece of shit up here and they receive divine judgment. Um, this is what I mean. You're healing from the night of uh, in your hopes leading forward, which is beautiful. You're healing. Right? That's magnificent. But that's growth every fucking day of the week, man. The emperors will heal, heal, heal. Okay, and you're healing from this narcissistic manipulator over here who's receiving divine judgment. Okay, it's just come straight out. Might have had a lot of false masks. Okay, those masks will be revealed as we go through because it goes straight to the past card here. But you've had clear introspection. Okay, spirit knows your heart motives to be true. Uh, when I split these decks, it's over here. You've got love coming in. There is love coming in because it's straight underneath that. Okay, so don't be trapped in your mind too much, leading forward. But it's up to you. You got free will. You you, you do what you got to do in itself. Fuck me. The old past is receiving divine judgment, and I'm going to say something after this card as well. Uh, the page of swords in reverse is somebody who is uh, broken promises, lies, or slander, and gossip, mistruths, hidden agendas. Okay, uh, where is it? Yeah, you were dealing with a piece of shit who was a rumor, a little birdie told me type of shit, broken promises, lies, slander, I tried to solve emotional or spiritual issues with intellect with a dumb person in the past there. Um, somebody who projected their feelings outwards who was all talking about action. That's why you had to use logic. Okay, you need to organ organize your thoughts there because there's a possibility. We're talking about this one card here. Possibility of ill health there in the past um, they're imposter and it's funny because I only have one fucking cunning card and it's just come out uh, frivolity and cunning possibly ill health be prepared for the unexpected leading forward with this person because there is more evil sides to this person's qualities that are unforeseen so an unprepared state maybe I aren't prepared for it but it does put emphasis on how fearlessly around the fearless past around their broken promises see how the cards work it's magnificent now in its north it's actually whatever they are they're receiving divine judgment because it's counteracts by judgment because of their broken promises lies slander in itself but now i'm going to say something um the commandments uh the heavenly virtues okay of uh prudence justice temperance fortitude faith oh hope charity okay those are guidelines Okay, they're guidelines to keep you within that healthy range of masculine to feminine version leading forward, yeah? Um, those deadly slings of lust, okay? Want to go out and fuck everything, yeah? You get diseases and things like that. And you also don't take the time to get to know people along the way, which is that's why lust in itself is uh, such a deadly sin. Gluttony um, in itself is um, becoming lazy uh, in itself. Selfish, common lazy here in the past here in this end of self from this person. Your growth is magnificent leading forward, but it puts emphasis to uh, the gluttony of, I just got something to say here. That's all I'm getting down to commandments. That's all. Um, and then we've got greed a person who is in greedy in themselves like selfish cold lazy and greedy we can see that they're incredibly fake okay sloth laziness okay gluttony in itself is just 
smashing down massive amounts of food and just glutton, glutton, glutton. You know, anything in excess in itself. Okay, sloth is laziness, okay? Sitting down every day and uh, watching your phone all day, eating Doritos and, you know, in itself, okay? And that would be sloth. The wrath in itself is like, you know, like getting in there and then it comes to envy and, you know, how all these things are deadly sins because you can en end up envying somebody for a long time and, and miss your own life, if that makes sense, along the way and then the worst of fucking all, pride, yeah? Pride comes before the fall and that's why they are deadly sins as opposed to heavenly virtues. You can see that sloth will always be temperanced out, if that makes sense. Greed will always come along, okay? Lust will always come along with uh, uh, prudence and chastity and things like that. So we can see how they deadly sins, they're guidelines to live between. So if you eat too much, you will die of over being overweight. If you ate till you were a, kid, a ton, you're not going to live long. So that's for it becomes a deadly sin. Does that make sense? And you complete that out by uh, fortitude and stepping forward with hope and faith and, and, you know, in itself, I'm showing that. Now, we've got to judgment here because of broken promises. Now, there's 10 commandments are there for a very specific reason. We should not be coming at thy fucking neighbor's wife and stuff, okay? Uh, we should, thou shalt not kill, okay? Thou shalt not lie and, and all those things. But one of those things here, because this one's here with judgment, I'm going to put this here. A lot of people don't realize this gossip talks, rumors, lies, slander, okay, it comes down to bearing false witness, when you are a beautiful person to somebody who is a piece of shit who cannot see your worth and their childish actions go on to the next partnership, relationship, or just go on for the rest of their life, blaming you for shit that they know that they did wrong, they just broke a commandment, because you can't do that, they are bearing false witness to something here, that's why judgment has been called, does it make sense, in itself, your heart is beautiful, yeah, we got a king of swords to a king of swords. You are beautiful. Your high perspective is magnificent. Your heart is beautiful. Spirit is trying to protect that and protect the the strength, the higher perspective, the wisdom of your heart. Your heart is the experience we have along the the thoughts are the thoughts, but the heart is why love is so important. The love is where the heart sits. The thoughts are what can complete it. That's why we now uh, the devil complained your mindset. And you're taking the right perspective towards your heart, knowing damn well your heart is beautiful and you deserve beautiful things leading forward in itself. It's completed out. Whatever it was, it's completed. It's stabbed in completely in the back. You were hurt big time, okay? And that's them fucking in regret. I'm telling you, man. We got regret here and them wallowing in regret of sadness leading forward. They stabbed you in their back, but they stabbed themselves in the back. Now, we've got psychic attacks and hollow victories fighting. Um, this is full psychic attacks here. This is what this is. You can see that you've been psychically attacked in the past by somebody who was a child. Energy, okay, the empress in itself. Okay, they were not loved. They're, they're, they're an empress in reverse. So it puts emphasis to why. Okay, the psychic attacks. Uh, and it puts emphasis to this card here. It just spat itself out of being ostracized and left out in the cult to heal by yourself. But, oh, fuck, the same cards are right there. They've just come straight out. Same cards. Uh, in itself, who, fuck me, man. There's the same card there going forward. And they just grab that to split it and spirit to put the first card out. Somebody has ostracized you from the past, okay? They're going to fucking get their karma coming forward because it's right there and it's imbalanced, so they'll regret that leading forward. Um, it's up to spirit, whatever whatever karma that is. Yeah, so you may love diamonds or something like that. Might be saging your house or something. Yeah, man, straight up, the illusions you have dealt with from the past, there's the illusions, there's the moon of all the illusions that you're healing from leading forward. See healing? See, look at this. This card is right here, and this card is right here, and they are both next to the narcissist that you were healing from who put the illusions into your fucking life. And this is a fresh new deck. This is why I add multiple decks, and it gives spirit an extra chance to make sure that the message is coming out thoroughly. But you are healing from somebody who was a piece of shit, as you're being spiritually guided. Look, it's the same fucking cards here to the here. The same cards are coming out as you were spiritually guided. In between these two cards is the past. You're being spiritually guided away to heal at the present moment from whatever piece of shit that was in the past. Okay, and you've done it. You're smashing it out, and it's beautiful. Nobody's ever done here complete healing, and there's clarity for somebody. But there was some sort of lies, hidden agenda, or secrets from the past here. Okay, because it comes with illusions that you're healing from. Release any burdens leading forward, which is magnificent as they, the whole past is centered around justice, by the way, so they'll receive their justice. They may have been too smug to think um, that they could get that justice, but it's a couple, you got to understand, too smug, a couple with clarity and lies. Um, they told themselves lies along the way, but the past is centered around justice. You see that there? Justice is centered around the whole part, past card. As you know, you're worth leading forward and they couldn't see that, but unfortunately, you are unconditional love in yourself. Um, there she is, baby. There she is. Here's the last queen. 
Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, Queen of Swords, and the Queen of Cups. I need to take this card. Random Spirit. Yeah, because they put imbalances into your life. You cannot play around with unconditional love. That's why they'll be in regret leading forward, okay? It puts emphasis to the balance coming forward, which is wish fulfillment and clarity. But whatever it is, release any burdens, release any fears from the past here, know your worth, which is beautiful, and lead forward with stability and balance, okay? Because I've got balance and balance, okay, as you're stepping forward. Whatever it was did try to ostracize you and leave you out in the cold. It definitely did. Um, but you were just so strong in your growth that they can't... They can think they can do it for a little bit, okay? But... Um, it just shows tenacity and growth. Uh, the character is a virtue of those hard times. Um, and even when you stay, you stay positive through hard times, it shows how when things get hard, how beautiful you are. And that life is tough, but so are you, you know. And in that strength, it is who you are as a soul to step forward. And you are your master. You are the, you are the master keys to open any locks. And you grab that master key from the past to step forward, which is beautiful. All right, uh, what we're going to do is have a look at the future. Yeah, man, they thought they could ostracize you by they put illusions into their own fucking life. They definitely tried to ostracize you and leave you out. See the door shut there on the same card, but into the future, the door ain't shut, baby. They thought they could ostracize you and leave you out in the cold, but they just put obst obstacles into their own life. Fuck me, man. The past has tried to obst put obstacles. Past is trying to put obstacles or has tried to put obstacles into your life leading forward. They do not realize how spiritually guided you are as you are healing from their bullshit. Okay, to complete that stuff out. You may have been married to the person, but the best part about it is it has been completed because that door is open for, for you to lead forward to create those memories, okay, and put that reflection out and complete that out. So it is a time to celebrate with clarity for this next card as it was a learning curve from the past here um here they are in reverse here over the world okay so you wouldn't believe it that card's just come out in the same card next to it okay and in between is a finish line to their bullshit so we can see that the past has been completed out you are fearless around that which is magnificent okay but it was a learning curve that's what that is is a learning curve pages learn yeah, land somebody's fucking broken. That's a broken promises card that's in reverse here. So it was a learning curve around their fucking broken promises. But you have new ideas and thoughts leading forward and the excitement for things as they come in. It's like a thirst for information leading forward. So just understand diplomatic and then uh, you might be working in a government service or something or diplomatic service or something like that. But it does show authority. They may be spying on you at the present moment leading forward. So just understand that. I uh, just release any burdens and beat to your own drum, okay? They're a non-committal, uh, short-sighted, arrogant, and temples, temperamental. So release any burdens from the past here as they receive the justice. Okay, beating to your own drum is just the empress being the empress, if that makes sense. There's spirit there, seen their abuse. They're short, they were short-sighted, arrogant, and temperamental and abusive, and spirit's seen it, and that's why they're getting... Uh, justice is coupled with spirit's card of Hierophant. So it was a lesson because I've got the Hierophant, which is a lesson as well with traditions. Okay, and then I've got a lesson in between that. So beat to your own drum because in between the completion of finish line, celebrate, it is a lesson, and that's magnificent because you've taken that level of ascension because that's the level of ascension we all have to take in order to get the wish fulfillment. Now, your wish fulfillment leading forward, okay, is coupled with success and that's magnificent because you learn from the trials and tribulations they thought they could ostracize you and leave you out in the cold but you knew your worth you know your worth and you know damn well what you'll put up with and what you won't put up with and it definitely ain't going to be no childish piece of shit who missed the signs who's over pragmatic and, and brooding jealous and bullshit it's going to be you knowing your worth with unconditional love into yourself leading forward uh, away from their de the devils of temptations and bullshit okay and being stuck and it shows that that love in that heart will always beat the manipulation no matter what okay because it is a learning curve and you're very very smart in that energy okay balance is coming forward for all the deception which is magnificent okay and that balance will bring a sun for the divine masculine divine feminine type and it will shock you when it comes in because it's a new foundation for the growth of yourself as a soul because you walked away from something here in the past for growth within yourself from somebody who was non-committal yeah fearless fearless around their strength okay um Fearless, I just put that card on there. Fearless in itself, okay, along their strength, okay. The victor is in the movement leading forward. And um, yeah, you you just, you're divine in yourself. You're divine in yourself because the divine soul will continue to learn. Unconditional love will always be the deception because loving yourself will be the best thing ever. Um, I've got Taurus. i got Capricorn. I got uh, double emphasis on um, air in general. Okay, so it is already, you could have been dealing with a Libra Aquarius Gemini in theory, but um, it does put emphasis on um, it is your reading in itself because we got so much air here. It's not funny, man. And the air is in your heart over there. You got to understand that's, you've got the King of Swords in my reading is Gemini. And you've got two Gemini cards plus a Six of Swords. 
is Aquarius in my readings. So we can see you, it's a high perspective towards your uh, wish fulfillment coming forward with hope, which is magnificent. Uh, we've got Pisces, we've got her the Hermit here, we've got um, uh, Virgo, Sagittarius. Libra, Cancer, Leo, Scorpio again. They're just signs. They're just signs there for specific reasons. I got Earth as well. Sorry, I got Earth. All Earth, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Uh, they're just signs. Lead just lead yourself to the next um next thing. Okay, um thirty seven or seventy three might mean something to you. 1810 for some reason that might, that's standing out it stood out the whole reading as well 46 64 66 one, one, that's definitely a number to look forward okay 111 one, one as well is definitely a number to look forward to um, leading forward 416 see uh, angel number for 416 and we'll get on to clarify in a second when you stop overthinking and over planning and get out of your own way your angels will be able to move in and provide miraculous support and solutions yeah, so we can see with that 416 just there as well, 416. Whatever it was, you got out of your own way, and that's magnificent. It might have been an overthinker or something there in the past, which was blocking that light, or they might have been an overthinker there in the past, but miraculous support is on its way because that was a past energy leading forward. 875, we'll do one more. Angel number 875. That's um, it's up there in the 8, so that's going to be a little bit more in manifestations. There we are. Betty Boy. This is the 875 for your future over here. This is the number for your future. The energy of wonder and celebration is filling your life. You are being encouraged by your angels to look forward with your most positive and loving eyes. You are on the verge of a breakthrough. That's your numbers for the future. Fuck me. Um, we're going to have a look at the outcome. And then we'll pull the card deck in for clarity. Yeah, man, you are fearless, man. That's the card that I just popped out and dropped straight on there. You are fearless in that energy. It's right there. You are fearless in your energy at the present moment to be unconditional love. She's right there and know your own worth and surrender. She's cups. See, she's cups, but see the pinnacle in the background is because she surrenders to her unconditional love. See if she's sitting in the water. The one feminine, she's the unconditional love. The all four queens build up the empress. We've got king of, uh, out of the same deck, by the way, we have the queen of swords. We have the queen of wands. We have the queen of pentacles. And now we have the queen of cups. And so it does show embracing that empress energy leading forward, which is the fearlessness uh, in yourself as a soul and the entrepreneurial spirit. Yep. Whatever it is from the past, it's been released because they're selfish, cold and lazy. So you could have introspection right there from whatever it was from the past lover in the past here. But the best part about that is you have released it and it wasn't easy okay hard work and determination is going into you as a soul we can see that released hard work and determination for the introspection around that love okay but we can see now the perspective is within you sowing the fields leading forward because of the introspection around that love to know what you deserve and what you don't deserve okay um we're going to grab a clarity deck now and just chuck it on and see what comes out so that's basically the reading we've got so now we go through and clarify we're going to shuffle like I said we shuffle everything and do everything from camera from start the bird the dove or birds might mean something to somebody or cats yeah man they might be apologetic from the past but you have yeah there might be you're healing from somebody narcissistic for starters because that's a childish energy again for starters it puts emphasis to the the cup over here if that makes sense of that you're healing from it's right there in itself okay there's the three swords that broke in your heart and there's the sort of justice to come around and help you sleep at night they may be apologetic leading forward but they're also childish still at the energy that they're in they put illusions into your life you're planning for your future leading forward as the empress which is magnificent to give that self-love which is unconditional love and there's potential of a new beginning coming in whether that's love self-love or not you've released it here in the past okay so they can have justice okay and it's clear introspection around that because that's clear introspection with the release double emphasis on the release yeah man you are magnificent there she is into the future okay and those two swords are those two kings are over here into the heart so it does show somebody played on your heart but it shows the clear introspection of settling that calamity and the clear decisive action of leading forward to be spiritually guided is leading you to where you want to go because that's decisive action as you took it into your own hands see we're talking about her taking it into her own hands and there she is there so it shows you've taken it into your own hands with clear decisive action from the past and worked on it you've worked through the illusions okay and their depression their anxiety that they put into your life you've worked through and you're healing at the present moment which is beautiful with self-love and that should be the perspective leading forward hard work and determination it's in the outcome 
hard work and determination. You have enthusiastic new beginning coming, and Cain is coming with a rebirth because she walked away. See the cup that's missing there? That's that. That's the cup of unconditional love. So the cup that's missing, it's, you took it with you. See the cup here? You took it with you. The Empress took it with her and itself. So you took that cup with you, and that's your victory, okay? That's your victory and success leading forward to beat to your own drum and be you. It's right underneath there beat to your own drum and that's coupled with releasing any burdens releasing any burdens would be the success leading forward and beating to your own drum being unapologetically yourself is your success yeah man this is the first, that cut there so inner peace is um, leading forward okay because not only do you know your worth but with the clear decisive action and the, the two kings there in the background who take the right perspective um, she's got the bird in the hand there see the bird it shows uh, that's the falcon the falcon is um, pride in oneself because you're the empress, man. Fuck, it's in your heart. You have unconditional love. You're a beautiful person. The fucking cars don't lie. You're a beautiful person. It's in the heart of the reading. Unconditional love is there. Uh, magnificent. Absolutely magnificent. Yeah, fucking fearlessness, man. It's come out fearlessness, 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 fearlessness. You are fearless leading forward, and that is beautiful into your world. Okay, and that's your wish fulfillment with hope leading forward. Okay, there's wish fulfillment coming into your world because whether you're birthing something new, okay, because they're growing there, and here's an entrepreneurial spirit, okay, and it'll bring wish fulfillment or hope, or whether you're just fearlessly stepping forward as the beautiful soul you are in that boss energy, it's bringing in wish fulfillment, okay, in your hopes. There's a new beginning coming, so just heal at the present moment, wear your heart on your sleeve, okay, with two new beginning cards coming there as it's your redemption to have that, and they receive divine judgment for playing around with, their, with naivety as they're for the fool in itself over there. You give and receive to the universe, so you deserve beautiful things, and you don't deserve to be breadcrumbed and manipulated by people who break your heart, okay, so it does put emphasis on the abundance coming in because they break your heart, and maybe talking shit around it you got to understand that pentacle plus the three gives the worth over here of you knowing your worth okay and that's your stability leading forward because that's the page so four of pentacles is coupled with a page of pentacle page of cups and the four here is coupled with a page there if it makes sense does it make sense so they just start playing childish actions since that tower moment come around no, but you have that clear introspection into who you are as a soul as they receive divine judgment and your heart motives it to be true and that's beautiful leading forward. They're receiving divine judgment because of their abuse and egotistical bullshit. Yeah, you have to turn your back and walk on the last card from their deception. And now they're a spoiled brat because that unconditional love has a new beginning. See? Spoiled brat. So they're all folded, arms folded, oh, blah, 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 blah. All right, let's get into it. All right, you're healing at the present moment. Absolutely beautiful. Very proud. And that's your strength leading forward. Absolutely magnificent. If you've released something here so they can get their justice, man. So just trust that. There's clarity, man. You released it here from the past so they can get their justice. There's clarity there, man. Uh, you released it from the past so they can get their clarity, man. It's, it's right in itself. Um, you have a soul star. Now that, stars in, that star is in the uh, future over there. Now we can see that that's wish fulfillment coming in, okay, for the star on its journey, and that'll put you onto alignment, which is magnificent for the empress in the heart there. Yeah, you're on your purpose, aren't you? You're just stepping towards it. Uh, there is a new beginning coming, okay, whether it's love, money, or something like that, there is a new beginning coming, and it's very enthusiastic. So just center your heart, because he's got his heart in his chest, and that's heart it's centered, and so, so it shows that's the hopes. Be compassionate with yourself leading forward, okay? That's only fair. Spirit is really watching. That's God, or seeing I is our spirit you have ancient knowledge within you or you've received the knowledge that you received along the way and these cards go hand in hand with each other it's just a part of nature's cycles now there is some sort of connection coming in but it's just got the got to go through the cycles in order to come in rose quartz might may mean something to you somebody okay the pentagram may mean something to somebody diamonds you know self now we're talking about diamonds you may not like diamonds in itself and we have a diamond you are a diamond and that diamond is formed strength and pressure you know there's a saying in the old days uh what was it um i can't remember what was it uh it's coal 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 what was i talking about there the other day oh i can't remember so much so much reading you know i'm gonna try and wing it straight off the top um there's a saying in the old time that a, a diamond, a piece of coal is just a diamond um, that never formed well under the pressure, okay? But that we know now as we lead forward that that coal did not have the 
it was never meant to be a diamond in the first place. Best way to say that, you were meant to be the diamond that was formed out of the pressure, okay? Because we do have so much major arcana here, it's not funny. And we also have all the archetypes as well. So it is putting emphasis on somebody becoming the empress and embracing that emperor energy leading forward. So that's fair and that will put you onto alignment. We have a lovely, beautiful day. Take care, God bless you, beautiful. You're beautiful, just stay beautiful and the magic lies within you.